ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு சிவில் இன்ஜினியரிங் ஷைலூஸ் அப்டேட்ஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபூட்டிங் இன் டீடைல் அண்ட் ஹவு டு செலக்ட் ஃபூட்டிங் ஃபார் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் சாயில் why foundation is provided to distribute the weight of the structure over a large area of soil to avoid unequal settlement to increase structural stability to prevent lateral movement of structure why there are different types of foundation the reason is there are different types of soil and for each individual type of soil soil bearing capacity is different so depending on the soil profile size and load of the structure engineers choose different types of foundation foundation system shallow foundation deep foundation type 1 shallow foundation isolated footing combined footing trap footing strip footing raft or mat foundation type 2 deep foundation pile foundation isolated footing or spread footing or pad footing simple footing step footing sloped footing these are all the types of isolated footing plan and section view of isolated footing what is isolated footing when footing is provided to support an individual column it is called isolated footing it is circular square or rectangular slab of uniform thickness sometimes it is step to spread the load over a large area pictures of isolated footings simple footing stepped footing sloped footing combined footing when two or more columns are supported by a footing it is combined footing this footing may be of rectangular or trapezoidal in plan when combined footing is provided when column end is situated near the property line and the footing can be extended when soil having low bearing capacity and requires more area under individual footing when columns are close to each other and their individual footings may overlap types of combined footing slab type slab and beam type strap type strap footing a type of combined footing It consists of two isolated footings connected with a structural strap. The strap simply acts as connecting beam. A strap footing is more economical than a combined footing when the allowable soil pressure is relatively high and distance between columns are large. Strip footing or wall footing or continuous footing a 
it is a continuous strip of concrete that serves to distribute load of a supporting wall here walls acts as load bearing structure it can be provided for a row of columns which are so closely spaced in such cases it is more economical to provide strip footing than to provide number of spread footings in one line mat or raft foundation it is a type of foundation that are spread across complete space of the building to support significant structural masses from columns and walls this sort of foundation is employed to stop differential settlement of individual footings mostly raft foundation is provided for high rise building pile foundation a pile is a vertical structure element of a deep foundation driven deep into the ground at the building site it is employed to transfer significant masses from the structure to a tough rock stratum that is more deep below ground level at what situation pile foundation is provided when the ground water table is high when heavy and non uniform loads from superstructure are imposed when it becomes impossible to keep foundation trenches dry by pumping or by any other measures due to heavy inflow of seepage when there is a canal or deep drainage systems near the structure when the soil at shallow depth is compressible when soil excavation is not possible up to the desired depth due to poor soil condition if you like this video kindly do subscribe click the bell icon share this video and to support my channel civil engineering shilus updates if you have any query mail me at shilus updates at gmail.com Thank you